<laughs> yo yo what up y'all thank y'all so much for dropping by man you guys already know what to do man make sure you guys smash that like button click that notification bell so you guys can be notified on all of the new latest and greatest news out here in these gaming streets man so black myth will come man this is one of the biggest triple a bangers of this year um a lot of people know about it um everybody already knows on i think ps5 and pc but everybody wants to know where is this game on xbox did you know sony you know lock the game down behind a paywall you know did they do you know a timed exclusive deal you know did they do an exclusive deal behind xbox back behind closed doors everybody want to know that you know is it a money hat because everybody's like do you not know that this will kill the hype of a game if all the hype has died down over time okay we already know that who's thinking about this game six months later a year later and you're claiming to be the market leader okay so you already made the push to make the game exclusive to make it a time exclusive doing these exclusive deals behind xbox back we already know sony's known for doing these little shady deals because they're greedy they're grimy shady low down nasty and dirty and you know they don't care who they step on they they would even step on their own fan base due to all this woke garbage that they're pushing dei and all this stuff pushing agendas we already know they're doing that but everybody needs to know are they really doing money hats are they doing these little exclusive deals why is black myth not out yet and we got a lot of people out here saying oh well it's because of series s the series s they're still developing it for both consoles so they're pretty much developing it for the series s that's why it's taking so long and then we had another group of people came out and found some like articles and you know journalists you know and bloggers and vloggers talking about it and saying hey nah that ain't what really happened what really happened was sony did a timed exclusive deal behind xbox back and that's why the game is not out yet that's why the fans are waiting on this triple a banger to drop on xbox because if it's already out you know on ps5 uh and pc everybody's kind of like wait what is going on why haven't we seen this game why haven't the studio been keeping no updates hey man it's a month behind it's two months behind why is it a, a even number that's gonna drop six months to a year like everybody's like wait no because of if, <laughs> what what coincidence would that be it take you that long just specifically six months to get done that sounds like a you know an exclusive deal done behind closed doors now i would like to say this too as well uh, we already know ps5 ain't got no games we already know sony love to do these little exclusive deals we already know they like to the lock down games like spider-man wolverine you know hogwarts legacy you know map packs and expansions like call of duty back in the day you know they locked down all these little dlcs and stuff in the game just a little annoying things to give them a little more boost a little to make it seem like their platform a little bit better even when avengers came out they did not even allow square enix spider-man to come on xbox or pc it's just ridiculous man how they get a, they get away with this stuff in the ftc and the cma they never say anything I'm, I'm like okay bro they have raised the price on everything on ps5 from the console the controllers the games they the one who started all this 70 dollars garbage that don't and then these games be coming out broken and buggy half the games drop are broken and buggy bro like it's an embarrassment to the fan base to the gaming industry and then they got a nerve to try to make up the money when when the media gets a hold of it and they trash and bash these games they instantly stop selling the sales decline because don't nobody want to deal with that because we know who wants to play play a game if the game is pausing if it's freezing your character is going through the map he's gro going through buildings you know like spider-man it was all glitchy and buggy and tore up from the floor up <laughs> it's just crazy that we have so many people are bragging about these things and saying that you know the ps5 is the next best thing since sliced bread oh they can't wait till the pro comes out now if the pro comes out and it don't play these games any better that's going to be an upset that's going to be another l you know and at this point everybody's wondering is this thing even going to be worth 700 dollars? like what's the point ain't no better wolverine ain't out like what are you trying to do you trying to bring it out with gta 6 that's the only thing i can think of 
Rockstar, that is another greedy, shady brand. They have been milking GTA 5 for how many years? For over 10 years now? That's crazy. That's insane, bro. Like, we got to do better. If you have a big, you know, publisher, studio that makes good bangers that fans have been asking for, I don't know why Rockstar just don't ride that wave and bring out little extra little, you know, expansions and, you know, spinoffs of the GTA game with their characters. You know, like CJ, why didn't he ever come out with his own game? You know, I think that'd be cool because you can keep the brand growing and gets bigger. It can only be, you know, maybe like a story mode, a short story mode, but I'm, you get what I'm trying to say. And that's what, I'm, that's what I want to come back as well. We want all these AAA bangers to come back, like the good old days. Remember, we didn't have to worry about stuff like this. Yeah, even though Sony had locked down some games, you wouldn't have really felt the pinch. It would never, never been as hard as it is right now. They're making it so noticeable, and it's so many ways to find out if that's what they're really doing. I think the industry and the gaming industry need to kind of stop. Like, if you're not going to make the game 100% exclusive, please stop doing timed exclusive games. It is so annoying. This is the, one of the biggest annoying things I've been meaning to touch on. This whole timed exclusive thing, it's irritating because now it's just stirring up the fans and it's and it's messing up the gaming industry and it's confusing everybody to like, wait, who do we really vote for now? Because it don't make any sense because now things are moving so fast. Technology is going into a different direction with cloud gaming and streaming, everything going to PC. And now you can game on your TV through the X Cloud and, and Xbox and Game Pass now. It don't make any sense to do that anymore because now everybody's going to be playing everything so fast and the hype on the game is going to start dying down so fast. You get what I'm saying? It's like if you get the new Jordans come out, boom, everybody get them when they first drop, right? Everybody already know that about Jordan. So if you get your Jordans a month or two later, everybody gonna be like, bro, we already been rocking these for a month now. So what, you got them, we been had them. That's kind of how, that's the feeling you get. Everybody's like bashing you like, bro, so you coming in the classroom <laughs> or you coming around your squad or your clique or your people, your family, friends with your new J's on, but they already had them two, three months earlier than you, six months earlier than you. And then you come around and say, hey, I just got my J's. I mean, they might be happy for you, but they be like, bro, we, Bro, we been had those. That's old news, bro. We on to something new. What are you talking about? Kill that madness, bro. <laughs> you Decepticons need to stop it. The gaming industry, listen. Over there at Sony's front office, these greedy bastards are destroying the industry. First of all, they ain't even making the games nobody asking for. How long they been asking for? Bloodborne or something like that? Instead of spending their exclusive money for that, time exclusive money for that, they could be making the remakes that people are asking for. People ain't asking for a Horizon Zero Dawn remake. The game is already beautiful. That's a, that's a garbage idea. Who's ever, <laughs> you know, the gaming industry is really starting to show their age. They are really starting to. They are really starting to show that the gaming industry is ran by a lot of old dinosaurs. Back in the 90s and the early 2000s, like these people are probably in their 50s and 60s and 70s and 80s and 90s to 100. They're too old. They, they are out of touch with the gaming industry. Bro, your old strategy isn't working anymore. They're trying to kill off CDs. They don't want to make hard copy CD games anymore. And PlayStation is removing the hard drive. How is it? The, how is the remake station with no games, zero games, going to get rid of their CD drive? And I don't even think they really do backwards compatible games all that much on the PS5. They always want to to move to the next console so they can milk you for every dime they got. That's their strategy, through that plastic box. If they can't make milk you through that plastic box, they don't make money. Because they don't make that much money, I think, off the console, so they have to make money off the games. But you're trying to stop selling hard copy games to like people like GameStop, so you can upcharge and double dip and charge way more money on your platform. See, PlayStation is slick because it's a game that came out, and when the new one came out, PlayStation instantly charge way more for an older game that was like 10 to 12 dollars now the game is like 40 bucks i don't know it was it horizon zero done maybe it was a horizon zero done but they charge more money for the game and these little exclusive deals bro the games that that we would like to see them bring back 
I would at least say if PlayStation was going to be the remake station of this generation and waste everybody time like they are doing, basically they're wasting everybody time because the people are like, man, bro, this is old already. Why are you bringing out a new console and you're playing old games, bro? It's crazy. These should be free updates, free uploads. You're already milking everybody for $70 games. Where is that money going? <laughs> you know, Square Enix learned their lesson, right? Ubisoft is learning their lesson for going woke and you're going to go broke. You know, for do, for doing all these little like Square Enix learned with Final Fantasy, doing all these doing all of these little Final Fantasy exclusive deals with Sony, is running their company into the ground, and so many more studios. You know, look at Concord. Concord ran into the ground from what I heard. That studio is about to shut down because who's going to fund a dying studio? Ain't nobody finna like. Come on, bro. Your game is already it is dead on arrival. You know why? Because you don't have good management. That's what, that's what the problem is in the gaming industry. We don't have good management on Sony end because we want to see good healthy competition because it does make the industry better. But if you're going to try to milk the fans through your accessories, your controllers, your consoles, your games, everything is way more expensive, probably through your electronics like TVs and phones and, and stuff like that. Everybody is wondering, okay, when? does it stop you know and i just want to touch on that because i just really felt like it, this cannot just be irritating me only all these little exclusive backdoor deals bro it's trash it's hot garbage bro we don't like it we want sony to stop we want the gaming industry to stop because if you're not going to make the game 100 exclusive just don't do it because I feel like you're wasting money on something that what you're trying to build up the hype first because you know it's going the other side if it let's say if it came out on Xbox first Black Myth Wukong you know the PlayStation community would be extremely upset like it just it, it would be like come on man this is one of the biggest bangers and they missed out on it you get what I'm saying it's like you're missing out on something it's like what in the hell are y'all doing right now y'all are hustling backwards it's like a person that's trying to sell something but they don't have nothing to sell it's like <laughs> it's like hey man you got an online store yeah but i don't got nothing uploaded yet so i can go buy man you've been talking about this for six months now i ain't seen nothing you upload you ain't put in no work yet so it's stu it just don't make any sense you're bragging about you got all this material stuff you know you got all this hardware but we've been looking for it for six months but we ain't seen it yet where is it at you know and you know game science or whatever man they probably learn a lesson from this you're losing millions or even billions of dollars for being for making these little stupid timed exclusive deals doing these little exclusive backdoor deals with sony you've seen what happened to square enix it, they are a fine example i can't stress it enough so i think i'm gonna leave it right there man y'all guys already know what to do man make sure you guys smash that like that subscribe button click that notification bell i'm out peace